Second Ezra 15 and 10. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. I like to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and salutations to all you brothers out there pushing this word in love, truth, sincerity, and humility. Once again, it's the brother Shatia from the Chicago camp coming back to you with what I hope is another quick and edifying sit down. And this scripture was inspired by uh, two articles. Now, one, a lot of the brothers have already did. Uh, sit downs on uh, and it's in the New York Post and it's about black vultures terrorizing Pennsylvania town now if you all uh, are uh, not up to speed on this article it goes into how these black vultures in Pennsylvania have not left you know usually they migrate somewhere else but they've stayed in Pennsylvania due to the irregular weather. And because of that, these vultures are staying there. They're perched on trees. They're perched up on houses and they're destroying roofs. Roofs. Uh, they're destroying homes. They're destroying property because they're taking shit everywhere. Uh, not only that, they're vomiting, uh, also on the street and people have said that it smells like dead bodies and if you've ever smelled a decomposed body that's outside of burned body that's one of the the worst smells you can smell in your entire life okay so you got a whole town smelling like shit and dead bodies which it's almost one and the same okay and it's completely destroying the property <laughs> and destroying people's businesses. All right. And it, hey, man, did that's a plague from the Lord. When in history have you heard of a group of birds just chilling in one spot, just destroying trees, destroying buildings, shitting and farting it, and throwing up everywhere? Yeah, that's that's unnatural. But if you have understanding, you know that that is a plague from the Lord. Also, this is another plague from the Lord. It says Manhattan Chipotle forced to close over rat infestation. Four employees bitten. OK. With this is also another plague from the Lord, because if you have an. Uh, as I said, if you're not up to speed on this uh, stuff, which is okay, this article also goes into the fact that uh, that the rats are now going inside the restaurants because people used to be able to eat outside. But now since the many of these places are closed, rats are now finding their way inside these uh, uh big franchise stores and so now when you go into these place you have rats everywhere okay rats eating the rice right uh, rats eating the beans rats eating the avocado the guacamole all right and it's so bad that they said some of these rats are the size of are the size of small cats attacking people this is another plague of the lord because you have to remember, when you when we go back to uh, Deuteronomy, the twenty uh, eighth chapter, um, is it sixty? Yes, Deuteronomy twenty eight and sixty. It says, "More moreover, he Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai." 
will bring upon all the diseases of Egypt, which thou was afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will Yahweh bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Now we know according to Deuteronomy 30 and 7, all these curses were going to fall on our enemies and them that oppressed us. And see, that goes into that second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Not the uh, second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Uh, it's uh, second. Yeah. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter and the 11th verse where the Lord said again. That behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right. We are in spiritual Egypt again. We are in the house of bondage where our enemies oppress us, where the Lord promised that there will come a time where the curses that were on us will be on our enemies and them that oppress us. Not only that, every disease and every plague that's not written in the book Okay, Egypt is going to suffer with. And as we go into these articles, or as you see in these articles, what's Egypt being plagued with? Big ass rats, the size of small cats, eating food and biting people. All right, black vultures terrorizing Pennsylvania town. These are the plagues that are not written in the book. Just as the Lord made locusts attack Egypt. All right. In modern day Egypt. All right. The Lord's bringing vultures and big ass rats. And folks can't take it. And the thing is. A lot of, they, they don't know that, that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah hasn't even warmed up yet. He's not even warmed up yet as far as bringing these plagues. It's about to get a whole lot worse for you heathens and you wicked jakes out here. The Lord is about to bring some massive plagues to Egypt, also known as America, Babylon, the snake. You just wait and see. So I hope you all ratified. Until the next time, we're going to say Shalom.